Don't move and I'll blow your head off. Ann! Ann! I've got him, Ann! What's happening? Go call the cops. Go call the cops! What are you doing? Put the gun down, Ann. It's for not writing. Oh, and <laughs> Oh, hey, Mom. Oh. <laughs> Don't you even know your own son? Glad to have you home, Enders. You bring your junk? Shelly, I got Jesus. Oh, I'd rather have junk. You came home. Hello, Dad. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <he's sorry. laughs> Sleep all right? Oh, yeah. Must have been months since you've had a hot meal. Mom, I've been fine, oh. really. Just wait a minute. I can't eat all that. Well, you know what I mean. Morning. <clears throat> you hungry? No, no time. I'm gonna be late. The bank can wait. <laughs> yeah, sure. How are you, son? Good. Slept well. Good to have your old bed back, huh? Oh, it felt like old times. Mm hmm You gonna take your room back, Enders? Well, if it's all right. There's no waiting for you. Uh, you going to the barber? Henry, he just got home last uh, night. Mom, it's all right. You think it'd be a good idea if I went and got a haircut? I certainly do. Well, why is that? Well, I thought you might want your old room back. And I thought we might talk about a job at the bank. Dad, we've talked about a job at the bank before. Morning, everybody. Yes, Good. sure. And we'll talk about it again until you get some sense into that fuzzy brain of Henry. yours. Well, he always starts it. Well, why can't you just relax and enjoy your breakfast? Now, come on. You're not going to get away with it like you used to, Enders. He means it, Enders. You bet I mean it. We've had one year of peace here. No drugs, no police, no deans, no sitting in the back pew afraid to let the minister see my face. Fourteen months over a year of peace. A whole year. He means it, Enders. You're damn right I do. Shelly, you have to eat more than that. On a diet. You're 17 and on a diet. My son, going a year, comes home, has nothing to say. Yeah. Enders. Dad. Mm -hmm. It is good to be home. Yeah. Honest. I missed you all. We missed you, too. For about a minute. Dad, how about a deal? A deal? Yeah, how short? Very short. Traitor. And the beard? Naked. What's the catch? Here There's it no, comes. No catch. I just want my room back. My room, I cut my hair and my beard. A deal? What? Well, that's sensible. Nice to agree with you for a change, son. We just set a household record. And the job at the bank's a great idea. I'd, I'd take it if I didn't already have one. You've got a job, a real job? I've been working nearly a year. You've had a job ever since you left home? Well, after the first two months. Why, that's wonderful, son. Isn't that wonderful, Mother? It's wonderful, Henry. It's just wonderful. Wonderful, Henry. Wonderful. Mother, I think I will have some breakfast. Oh, just take a second, dearest. <clears throat> okay. Now, tell me. What kind of a job do you have? It's a very good job, Dad. You hear that, Ann? I heard. All right. Now, I know you don't work in a bank with that beard. But don't think I'm not up on the jobs you can get with long hair. I'm going to let you surprise me. Go ahead. <laughs> go, on, go on. Tell your old dad who you work for. Dad, I've become what you might call a professional Christian. Mm -hmm. I work for Jesus. One of those Jesus freaks. Yeah, yeah, that's right. How'd you know about it? George Putnam told him. Don't you want your breakfast, Henry? I'm late. 
What'd you come home for? Disrupt my house again? Only this time, instead of dope, you've got some crazy notions about Jesus. I guess that's some kind of improvement. Pill popper to Bible thumper. Your father's right, Anders. You should be a Christian, but you, you should do it on Sunday. Yeah, Anders, you could become a fanatical. I gotta go. Shelley, don't forget your books. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Listen, I got extra if you ever run out of Jesus. I don't know what's the matter with her lately. Her father says she's just growing. That's right. Is Mr. Turnbull home? No, he's not. Well, I got an order for seven telephones here. Two, four, oh, one, Estimar. Oh, it must be some mistake. Seven telephones? Mr. Turnbull, sign oh, uh, I'm Mr. Turnbull. Mr. Enders Turnbull. That's me. Where do you want these phones? Right in the bedroom. Enders. Uh, Mom, it's all right. We're going to pay for it. Just follow me. Like this. Um, that's right, Henry. Seven telephones. I told you. Well, Enders says they're going to pay for them. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't bet on it. Ann, does Ender seem okay? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Those asset trips, does he seem okay? Oh, Henry. I tell you, we don't know him. People change in a year. Well, he's, he shaved his beard and he's cut his hair. I mean, he's kept his part of the bargain, Henry. He was always kind of nutty. Maybe he's flipped out. Henry. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing home? I'm going to a party tonight. On Thursday? I don't care if you don't believe me. Well, why the suitcase? What is this, a drill? I'm packing for the weekend. Last trip to Arrowhead. You know, you lie like somebody I used to know. My dear brother, about to give me advice, you got your head all straight, wise one. No, 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 no. it's just that I have been where you are going. Well, you can't stop me. Yeah, I could. Wouldn't do any good. You'd just go the next chance you got anyway. That's right, big brother. I'm sick of this place. Where are you going? Oh, no. What part of Vancouver? Are you still seeing Carl? I got a new boyfriend. He knows the ropes. Look, Shelly, look. Please, don't go. They'll never miss me. I will. For about a minute. Well, when are you going? Got a ride at seven. Hey, did you get my letters? Yeah, some of those places sound great. I'm gonna go see them. Well, some of those places, they weren't so great. Well, I've got to get out of here. Can you understand? Yeah, yeah, I wish I didn't. Nobody could have stopped me. But look, well, you got to promise me one thing. No promises. All right, then just say yes. I'll trust you. <sighs> Will you call me? Here? On the lifeline. What lifeline? The one in my bedroom. So that's it. You think I need a lifeline already, big brother? No, not yet. Let me write it down. You'll answer? Yeah. Promise. Just you, nobody else. I promise. Yeah. See, Shelley, I make promises now. I've changed. You're wigged. At least I understood you stoned. Oh, Enders. 
you want to hear something crazy? Of this whole messed up family, you and me have been the closest. Give me a J. J. Give me an E. E. Give me an S. S. Give me a U. U. Give me an S. S. What does that spell? Jesus. What does that spell? Love. Wanted, Jesus Christ, alias the Messiah, Son of God, Prince of Peace, notorious leader of an underground liberation movement. <laughs> Appearance, yeah. typical hippie, long hair, beard, yeah. robe, sandals, associates with criminals, radicals, subversives, yeah. street people. Yeah. Beware, this man is extremely dangerous. His inflammatory message is particularly dangerous to young people who haven't been taught to ignore him yet. He changes men and claims to set them free. Warning, he is still at large. Peace, brother! Last night the devil came to me and tempted me to take speed again. I prayed, yeah. and wow. Jesus prevailed. Yeah. I cast it down the toilet in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, God has brought me from down to up. That's all I know. That's all I want to know. Yeah. Fourteen months ago, I ran away from home. I was confused and lonely. I couldn't talk to my parents. And the reason I couldn't talk to him was because I had no help from Jesus Christ. Right. I ran away to Taos. I bummed my way to Lorien and Morningstar, and there was lots of orange sunshine and it had one. I didn't know who I was. And then I began to miss myself, you know? Yeah. Well, one of the brothers, one of the brothers that had a Bible. And in a kind of a desperation, I opened that Bible and I said to the Lord, I said, speak to my soul if I still have one. Tell me what I can do to find some peace. Yeah. Yeah. One year ago, one year ago today, that Bible in my hand opened to this verse. Therefore, if any man or woman be in Christ, they are new creatures. Old yes, things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Yeah. Yeah. Shiny new, I'm shiny new. Amen. And where drugs once drained my soul, Jesus Christ now fills me with a love that I can only express in doing for other people. This is my first time. Let it out, sister, so we can all be one in Jesus. Tell it, sister. Yeah. Tell it. Come on, Come on. Sister. My God was TV and grass. I'd get stoned for days, lay around and watch that tube. Now tell yeah. about it. Oh. I tried acid, Eastern religion, and finally, Bible reading oh, yeah. 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 It was the best high. Yeah. Yeah. So one day I just said, Jesus, I'm going to try you without acid. Give myself to you and nothing else. And it was beautiful. Oh, yeah. 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 Let the Lord inside. And there's no better way than by trusting all of us. Amen. It's good to see you understand and don't judge. Yeah. Yeah. Never be ashamed to show how much you love the Lord. No. Because people will know you're true. And the truth, that's going to draw everyone to Jesus. Yeah. Praise the Lord, for he has been good to us. Praise the Lord. Hey, Jeremy, will you pass this basket? Now, you're new here, sister. This is our collection time. But we're not collecting for some big new building or anything. <laughs> this is if we've grown weak, we get it right, right now. We put all our junk in there, all the drugs. We stash the smack, lose the pills, and the LSD. Right on, sister. Right on. Right on. I'm going in there. Now, wait a minute. I won't have drugs in my house. We can go to prison for this. Jimmy, wait just one minute. I want to hear what they're saying. Now, Jeremy, you pass this again? Mm -hmm. And this time, brothers and sisters, if you've got anything to spare, then please give. But if you're in need, then take. I've heard enough. But they're trying to help each other. What difference does that make? You like our house being turned into a hippie commune? Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. Stop that. Let you hear me? I said, stop it. Stop it! This is my house. If you want to sing, go to a church. Dad, Jesus Christ is everywhere. That's who. You we... shut up, you hippie. You don't know anything. Joy to the world. Did anybody teach you that's a Christmas song? Well, that's our favorite song. Your favorite song. Please. I know what I'm doing. This is my house. And I want every last one of you out of here. Do you hear me? Brothers and sisters, this is my father, Henry Turnbull, and my mother, Anne. Good good to meet you. You. Andrew, so help me, I want these hippies the hell out of here. They are Christians, Dad, just like you and me. Don't twist my words, Enders. You've got one hour to get out or I call the cops. Wait, wait, Dad, can I talk to you? This is just temporary. You damn right it is. Look, despite the way you feel about my friends, we do something important here. Huh? We run a lifeline with these telephones. And what the hell does that mean? We talk to kids. 
Kids who are depressed, kids who lose touch with their parents and God, kids who go on drugs and become suicide. That's the parents' problem. Oh, Dad, we've had these numbers advertised. Kids are going to be calling and they're going to need help. From you? From Jesus. We try to pass some of him on to the kids who are hurting. This is a problem for a priest or a minister. A bunch of pill poppers talking to children. I say if the church isn't good enough for kids to go tell their problems to and get good advice, then let them go. And I'm telling you, I want these phones, these cushions, everything, everybody out. And that includes you too, Enders. Henry, they're trying to do something good. Then let them join the church and do it proper. Listen, Dad. Don't put us out. Listen, don't put us out. Get away from me. Listen, Dad, I came home to see if we couldn't try again, but look, I guess I blew it. Now, I know you don't understand, but please don't put us out. Let us stay just tonight, please. One reason, one good reason why. Because I gave that number to Shelly. Shelly, what are you talking about? Shelly's gone, Dad. What do you mean gone? Where is she at? She's at a party. No, she isn't, Mom. She ran away, just like I did. I call her. So help me, Enders. This better not be some fancy maneuver of yours to keep that room. I never lied to you. You've never given me anything to be proud of, either. I'm sorry you feel that. Oh, Alice, this is Anne. Um, no, I thought Jenny was having a party tonight. Um, uh, no, thank you. Well? Well, there's no party. She'll be home. I'm gonna wait up for her. I'll put some tea on, Henry. We're the new shift. They're the new shift, Henry. Come in. You get calls from all over? Yes, Mr. Turnbull, we do. From as far as Vancouver? Yeah, sometimes. You going to the bank, Henry? What? You're going to be late for work. Yeah, I know. calls last night? Yeah, lots. Hmm. Well, it's only uh, 7.30. Uh, stay a while. Thanks, Dad. Are you uh, going to the office today? Later. Anybody call last night? Look, you want some coffee? No, no thanks. Why did she do this? It's because she couldn't talk to you, Dad. What? She tried, but you wouldn't listen. You always thought you knew what she was saying before she even started. 
Finally, she just gave up. She became hostile. We gave her good things. Well, you gave me good things, too. Lifeline. Why did you come back? Lifeline. Because I thought living here again, we might be able to talk. We talked all the time. What do you mean, talk? Yeah, Dad, but it was a one-way conversation. Anders, call. He insists on talking to you. You from last night? Hello? He's still alive. Hello, I knew you had more sense than to take those pills. I remember you. Sure, I remember you. You had us all worried sick. Yeah, that's right. That is right. Yeah, boys use guns and, and, and girls use pills. But, but girls will talk, and that's one thing in your favor. Listen, do you know your neighbors? Well, well, no, but, but, but Jesus could. Oh, yeah, he does, yeah. Jesus is the best lover. That's right. No, 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 you go right ahead. No, go ahead. Let it out. That's right. That's good, Cindy. Crying is good. If they cry, they usually won't do it. Yeah, I'm here. Well, no, but... Well, you were feeling good just a minute ago. Oh, Cindy, that, that would be such a waste. Cindy, I, you know, I bet you are so pretty. And... Cindy, have you talked to your parents? No, 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 but you, you just think they don't, Cindy. Really, you just think they don't. But, well, let me tell you something. Mine do. Yeah, that's right, I know they are. They are rare, but, well, let me tell you something else, Cindy. They let me put this lifeline right in my own bedroom. Yeah, that's right. No, 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 Cindy, Cindy, don't. Don't do that. Well, you gotta get the right picture, sweetheart. Well, you can talk to me. Look, don't give up. Jesus loves you. I, I know he seems so far away, but he knows you're suffering. Cindy, don't let that black cloud get hold of you. Cindy. Can I talk to her? Cindy. Cindy. This is Ender's... Yeah. That's right. His father. No, don't hang up. Please, Cindy, don't. Thank you. Uh, Cindy, I, I want to tell you something. Now, stop crying because I'm going to tell you something. Last night, my daughter, Shelly, I, I guess she must uh, be about your age, Cindy. She ran off to Vancouver. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. It was... It was my fault. But, Cindy, do, do, you, do you know why it was my fault? Because uh, I, I never listened. And uh, I, never, I never told her I love you. I never did that. And, it, and it, it's, not, it's not because I'm bad. No. No, it, no, no, it isn't. Really. It's, it's just because I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we all kind of forget. Would, would you like that? Huh? Oh, I would, Cindy. I would. Yeah? It's uh, 2401, Estimar. E-S-T-I-M-A-R, Estimar. Uh huh? Yeah? Uh, maybe you and me and my son, Anders, maybe, maybe we could do that. Thank you, sweetheart. Thursday. Oh, sure. Sure, Thursday. 
Any time. Any time. Thank you. Insight is a production of the Paulist Fathers, a group of Catholic priests who serve their God by serving those outside their church.